The Sigfox Cloud supports all Sigfox services to retrieve the messages, but also to manage all of the objects and user parts, Sigfox customers and partners interact with the Sigfox Cloud itself. So when it comes to data availability billing, user and fleet management, service maps, and so on, the Sigfox Cloud is reachable through three interfaces. The first interface is the web portal, accessible with a simple browser for human end users to access to all the Sigfox Cloud functions. The second interface with the Sigfox Cloud is the API for computer interaction to do all the common tasks needed for service delivery. Everything accessible through the web portal can be done in a scriptable way using the API access in pull mode. API is perfect to integrate some of the Sigfox Cloud functions in a third-party platform. For example, to perform operations such as device registration within an external platform. But to retrieve data from the Sigfox Cloud, then the API is not the right answer. Why not? Because a pulling mechanism has to be implemented between the external IT platform and the Sigfox Cloud. So this server would continuously need to ask, are there any new messages for me to the Sigfox Cloud? That's very costly for both Sigfox Cloud and partner platforms. The best practice for retrieving messages data from the Sigfox Cloud is in fact using the third interface, callbacks. As another computer interaction, it enables to automatically receive new events, such as messages in push mode, 